फ्रेंड्स आई एम लोकेश प्रसाद लेक्चरर इन बायोलॉजी प्रेरणा पीयू कॉलेज तुमको आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन वी एफ ऑफ प्रेरणा पीयू कॉलेज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मल्टीपोलर न्यूरॉन सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूरॉन यू हैव बीन स्टडीइंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूरॉन फ्रॉम योर स्कूल डेज राइट सो यू नो दैट ह्यूमन बॉडी हैज सो मेनी सिस्टम्स बेसिकली ह्यूमन बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल्स What is body mean by cell? Structure. Mean of the body. body. It is called cell. Cells. Why say body is made up of cells? Since we are the multicellular organisms. So in our body, there are so many systems are there. Like the respiratory system, digestive system, excretory system, nervous system, etc. Right. So nervous system is made up of neurons. Nervous tissue. Right, nervous system is made up of nervous yes. tissue. So nervous tissue means in our body there are so many nerves are there. Right. So these uh, nerves are nothing but these are the tissues. So if you, if you think that if there is a tissue, uh, the tissue is formed by number of cells. Yes. Right. So if it is a nervous tissue, it is also made by the cells. Yes. So those cells are called neurons. These are the cells which uh, make the tissue. Which tissue? Yeah, nervous nervous tissue. tissue, right? Nervous tissue is made by neurons. Yeah. So neurons are the cells. So even these neurons are the largest cell in the human body. Which is the largest cell in the human body? Neurons. neurons. Okay. If if it is uh, asked for one marks, what are neurons? You are supposed to write neurons are the structural and functional unit of structural and functional unit of nervous system what are neurons Okay, basically these impulses are uh, captured and transmitted. 
into the cell body by dendrites. Okay. And the next uh, third portion is axon. Which is the third portion? Axon. So see here. The, at the base of the cell body, the long nerve fiber expands. See in the diagram, at the base of the cell body, long nerve fiber is extended. That is called axon. Okay. So this axon uh, may be of two types. Which are those? One is called myelinated axon. And another one is called Here, just imagine it is a nerve fiber or the axon. So, if the axon is covered by myelin sheath, if it is covered by myelin sheath, then it is called myelinated axon. So, these myelin sheath is formed by the cells, those are called Schwann cells. Let's show in the diagram. This myelin sheath is made by Schwann cells. Okay. So, in the next job. Axon also contains the fluid. So, in, within the axon also there is a fluid. That fluid is called axoplasm. We call it as axoplasm. Even this uh, axon is also called by the cell membrane. Axon is also called by the cell membrane. The cell membrane of the axon that is called axolemma. We call it as axolemma. Okay. So, then in, uh, in the myelinated and non myelinated, so electrical impulses are transmitted by both myelinated and as well as non myelinated axon. But the electrical impulses and the, these impulses are transmitted very fast in the myelinated axon and it is slow in the non myelinated axon. Okay. The terminal portion of the axon that is called telodendria, call it as telodendria. So, at the terminal portion, it has the bulb like structures. So many bulb like structures. Those bulb like structures are called synoptic knob. We call them as synoptic knob. So, see, it is a bulb like structure. We call it as synoptic knob. So, within the synoptic knob, there are so many vesicles. Those are called synoptic vesicles. Which are synoptic vesicles. So, these synoptic vesicles. Which store the chemicals. Name of those chemicals are called neurotransmitters. To store the chemicals, which are called neurotransmitters. Okay. And these uh, neurons can be classified into three types. So, did you understand the basic structure of neurons? Yes. Okay. Uh, neurons are of uh, three types. One is called Unipolar neuron and another one is called bipolar neuron and multipolar neuron. So, how we have classified the neurons into three types? Based on the presence of the presence of axon and dendrites. Based on the presence of axon and dendrites, we have classified the neurons into three types. So, see here. I have told that unipolar, the name itself indicating that uni means singular. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, here, the neuron has only one axon. So, it has only one axon. So, where it is found? Unipolar. It is found in the embryonic stage. You can see the unipolar neuron in the embryonic stage. So here, next bipolar, here by means two. 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 So here, the neuron has one axon and one dendrite. It has one axon and one dendrite. That is called bipolar neuron. Okay. So this bipolar neuron is found in the retina of eye. When it is found, retina of eye. And the multipolar neuron is multi means. Multi means many. Yeah. So the neuron has one axon. How many axon? One axon. And many dendrites. One axon and many dendrites. We show in the diagram. It has one axon and many dendrites. You understand? So it is found in the cerebral cortex. Where we can see the multipolar neuron? Cerebral cortex. 
you understand? So once again I repeat, I want to listen here. So the structure of multipolar neuron. So each nervous tissue is made up of cells. Those cells are called neurons. So neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous system. Okay. Neurons are the largest cell in the human body. So neurons are microscopic. Hence we cannot see through our naked eyes. We can observe under the microscope. When you observe under the microscope, we can see three portions, which are those cell body and cell body. So this the cell body has alternate names like cyton or soma or perigyna. So this cell body is oval or spherical shape. So this cell body has the cell membrane that is called neuron. And this cell body has the cytoplasm. That cytoplasm is called neuroplasm. Okay. And then uh, it has centrally located nucleus. And even all the cell organs are found in the cell body. And uh, cytoplasm has darkly striated particles or the granular-like particles. Those are called neurons. They provide the energy to the neuron. Okay. So next one, dendrites. Second portions are the dendrites. So here, yeah, cell body is not continuous. It has branching process. The branching process of the cell body that is called dendrites. They receive the impulses and transmit to the cell body. Okay. And the next uh, third portion is the axon. So that the base of the cell body, the long nerve fiber is extended. The cell body's axon is connected by axon pila. Connected by axon pila. So at the base of the cell body, long nerve fiber is extended. That is what? Axon. So we can classify the axon into two types. One is called myelinated axon and one is myelinated axon. Whenever, when you want to say that myelinated axon, that must be covered by myelinated axon. The axon is covered by myelinated axon. Those are called myelinated axon. Here, this myelinated axon is covered by shwansas. The conduction of nerve impulse is fast. Here the conduction of nerve impulse is slow. Okay. In non-myelinated, slow. In myelinated, fast. Okay. If the axon is not covered by myelin sheet, non-myelinated. Okay. And the next, this axon uh, has the bulbary structure at the terminal portion. Those are called telodendria. So those bulbary structure, so that is the... Uh, that has a number of uh, synaptic vesicles. These vesicles shows the chemicals called neurotransmitters. Okay. These neurons can be classified into three types based on the presence of number of axons and dendrites. So there are three types unipolar, bipolar, and multipolar neurons. So if the uh, neuron having only one axon, then it is called unipolar. It is found in the neuron having one axon and one dendrite, that is called the neuron having one axon and many dendrites, that is shown in the diagram, that is called Today we studied the structure of multipolar neuron. I supposed to say multipolar neuron. How do you say that today you have studied that uh, multipolar neuron? Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you.